RPG dude. RPG yeah. dude. Loves it. RPG dude. RPG dude. RPG dude. Loves playing those RPGs. RPG dude. RPG dude. Yeah. RPG dude. He likes RPGs. RPG dude. RPG dude. RPG dude. He wants to level up. RPG dude. RPG dude. Welcome to RPG dude. Today I'm going to talk about Final Fantasy. Without this game, RPGs wouldn't be what they are today. This game was a final ditch effort by a dying company to try to make it big, and yes, they seceded. Now here's the thing guys, Squaresoft has been around since 1983, and back then they had killer classics like Rat Racer and Apple Town Story. Them games are so good that by 87, they are going bankrupt. They were a dying company. They had it in them to make one more game. They wanted it to be a fantasy game, RPG game with lots of story. It was their final game. The name of the game was Final Fantasy. Now Final Fantasy wasn't the first RPG to come out, but it was the first of its kind. Final Fantasy lets you pick the class of your four characters. You was given a choice of warrior, monk, thief, black mage, white mage, and red mage. It came out in Japan in 1987 for the NES. But us Americans, we didn't get it till a couple years later in 1990. And this is what it looked like. It turned out it was a big hit. But what made Final Fantasy different from other RPGs at the time was the detailed battle animation. A lot of the early RPGs, you couldn't even see the character attack. In battle, you could see your character attack, and you could see the enemy attack. Your characters were on the right, your enemies were on the left, which was a big change from the first person views that most RPGs had at the time. One thing I will suggest about Final Fantasy, when you picked your characters, try to include a monk. Because later in the game, when he's leveled up, the only thing more powerful than him is like some of the ultimate weapons, some of the best weapons in the game. A leveled up monk is good. The special effects for the magic attacks was also very well done in Final Fantasy. And what class you pick for your characters can determine what magic you can use. Black mages use black magic, like fire and ice. And white mages use white magic, like cure and life. One fact about Final Fantasy is that the main boss, Chaos, has the least HP in the whole series of Final Fantasy. He has like two, a little over 2,000 or something. But then again, back then, the damage ratio was a lot different. Final Fantasy had a huge world map. Later on in the game, you could use boats and airships and canoes to get around. But at first, you gotta walk. One thing about some of the original Final Fantasies is that at the beginning of them, they are harsh. If you wander around the wrong part of the map, you are screwed. You better start fleeing. Make sure you save your game often. Now held up to today's standards, the story in Final Fantasy might be shallow and short, but back then, it was amazing. It was a fantastic, great, epic story. In the story of Final Fantasy, the four elemental crystals of the earth has gone dark, sending everything into chaos. The legend says that four warriors of light will come and save the land. Each warrior of light carries a darkened crystal which they have to reawaken. Now there's three main areas in Final Fantasy. The world map, a town, and the dungeons. And in the dungeons, that's where you'll find the bosses. The flow of the game is pretty concrete. Go explore on the world map, find a town, go in a dungeon, and beat the boss. And then you repeat. Now Final Fantasy has got remade quite a few times. They released Final Fantasy 1 and 2 for the PlayStation called Final Fantasy Origins. They released 1 and 2 again for the Game Boy Advance with Dawn of Souls. Then they released Final Fantasy again for the PSP.
Final Fantasy, in my opinion, has to go down as the defining game in the genre. It is a truly awesome game. When you play Final Fantasy, it takes you back to the roots of RPGs. This game is totally worth a try. I'm RPG Dude, peace out. Dudes, welcome to the RPG Dude Studio. I'm going to show you the tools of the trade. For all the sound effects and audio, I use a Yamaha keyboard there. For all the gameplay now, I use a video capturing device. For the audio, I use a mic, of course, and over here on my PC, I got four different softwares that I use. A video converter, pretty important. Right here is the software that I use for um, actually capturing the gameplay onto my computer. This program right here I use for audio editing. And this program right here I use for video editing. Pretty much this time around, RPG Dude is legit.